hello everyone welcome to my channel cat tutorials for beginners and in this tutorial uh, we will uh, create a model of helical gear so uh, in this tutorial we will learn uh, some commands like helix curve how to create a helix curve and uh, how to create a tooth profiles for the helix curve helical gear so let us start with the uh, mechanical design once again and create this uh, geometrical set as well so uh, now we will sketch on this uh, front plane here so uh, let us select the position sketch and uh, sketch on this uh, front plane here so we will make uh, profiles uh, just pro make a circles for the creation of tooth profile so uh, let us create uh, one by one you can double click this uh, command button for the continuous so just uh, double click on it and then you can provide the dimensions just provide a dimension and here we will provide a di difference so just edit this dimension let us add uh, 62 mm let us add 60 just add a uh, 58 mm here and here We'll add 52 mm and the last one uh, just add here uh, the value that is 1.174 so uh, now we'll create that profile uh, so uh, let us select the center line here for the construction purpose and select this intersection point and make a intersection of this Let's create a circle over here and let us give the radius let's say 13 mm similarly create us another circle and Again, we'll just give the dimension. Let's say 13 mm. Just drag it in this side, and here, sorry, uh, again select this intersection point. Select this profile and select this circle. Select this profile and select this circle, and then provide a dimension for these two and just provide it uh, 3.14 so we'll make it constraint so uh, provide angle to this so just will add here let's say uh, 27 sorry 27 mm and now we'll trim the unwanted activities unwanted entities uh, just select this one and this one this is only for the geometry purpose similarly select these two points over here and and here this one and make it again construction and now use a eraser option just erase this one Then just erase this one and this one as well and make it open here so this tooth profile is created here just provide this one I need to provide is already uh, there and then exit this workbench so uh, now we will again uh, sketch over this just make a sketch here make project it and there is one option make it isolate and 
again we will close this curve here so there is one option available okay here so uh, just close this arc so you will find this and provide a dimensions here exit the workbench and make it a pad so just select this and add a pad so on the mirror side only i will take it so this way uh, this base is created now we'll just make that uh, curvature so again sketch on this plane here and again project this one this edges sorry no need to project these points just select the tooth edge and this one and now use this trim option just select the eraser and make it a trim and then exit the workbench so now the profile is created so now we'll create a guide a guide here by helix curve so you can move that uh, to the sorry we cannot move it actually so we'll try so we cannot move it so just make it uh, define work object and now we will create a guide here with a helix curve so go to the generate a shape design here and here you will find the uh, helix curve so just select the helix curve and uh, select the starting point let us select uh, the first starting point over here and axis will be uh, x axis make it in the reverse direction and add a height uh, of uh, 20 mm so for the 20 mm it will get added and for the peach just add uh, 200 we'll try this 200 first and so uh, let us add 250 sorry 250 this will add uh, randomly here so 300 mm we more than that i think uh, so 320 so 320 will keep here and then click okay again just select the helix curve for the second point so just select the second point and axis remain the same that is x axis and make it in the reverse direction and again add the same uh, dimension let's say uh, 320 and height is of uh, 20 mm make a preview and then click okay so now uh, just add a surface over here by the sweep command just select the uh, sweep option select the sweep Uh, select the two guide with two guide curves select a profile and uh, select a guide curve 1 and the guide curve 2 and make it a preview and for the spine just provide a x axis and make a preview so it will get created till that face so just click okay so you can directly uh, go to the mechanical design and use a closed surface option so just select the closed surface so
so it will directly go in the part body and we'll select this sweep and then click ok so now it just added in that we'll hide this sweep so in this way uh, you can create a profile here of the tooth so this is the first tooth we have made so we can we can just make a circular pattern of it so just select this uh, close surface and then you can select a pattern so we'll select a circular pattern of it and select a complete crown option and add the instances we'll just add uh, first 20 and select a reference element that is the axis which will be x axis and you will find this uh, the circular pattern is created so we'll just create ok and in this way you can create this circular pattern so we'll just increase this number of instances here so just double click this uh, circular pattern here and add 30 and just click ok here so uh, this helical curve is helical gear is created so uh, now we will just hide this geometrical set here and now we will create so that circular hole so let us create here So select a circle, let's add 25 mm and we'll add the key slot over here. So select uh, the rectangle and provide a dimension to it. Let's say uh, 3.5 mm and again here let us add 3.5 mm and you can make it just make this one and this one and make a symmetry along this z axis similarly so maybe uh, that you need to pick this option as well so how much distance actually you want here so let us I will add uh, 3 mm here or maybe add just 2.5 and we'll trim this unwanted edges so just select the trim and just trim this unwanted entities and so now this you can exit So just make a pocket and it is already 20 mm so you can create this key slots. So maybe we will increase this slot over here let's say uh, 5 mm and add this height as well let's say 3 mm or maybe 4 mm and then increase this so let us provide the chamfer over here let's provide this chamfer Similarly, we'll provide uh, here as well. So select this edges over here and apply this ch chamfer. So you can add multiple options are available for adding the chamfer. So we'll add uh, some uh, fillets over here. 
so uh, let us first uh, make this uh, closed surface as a defined work object here so we'll add uh, the fillet uh, here so let us select the edge fillet option and select this edges here and keep this uh, 0.5 as it is and then just click ok so uh, the fillet will get applied to this uh, tooth so it is taking uh, time so uh, now uh, just modify this uh, sketch here so there is an option that is a uh, sketch support so we'll make this uh, face as a sketch support so that issue will get solved and uh, for this chamfer so just make this as a defined work object and for the chamfer again uh, just select or maybe double click this and select the edges once again here just select the edges here first and select this one okay so no problem and then just modify it so now you can see uh, the fillet is added over here and now one more operation we'll do uh, we'll just uh, cut off this edges here so just uh, take a sketch and select this face over here and so now here uh, just take a rectangle and make this as we know already uh, so this is a uh, 20 mm length or width you can say and uh, select first make this uh, symmetry make allow symmetry line along this axis vertical axis and now just make this one and this one coincidence so uh, make this normal to view and now uh, again we know uh, the maximum diameter is uh, 62 and now we'll provide the chamfer over here so select the chamfer So we'll delete this uh, previous dimension and provide the dimension here. Select a vertical dimension and provide 1 mm and maybe uh, this is automatically 1 mm so 1 by 45 mm is the dimension and similarly we'll select the chamfer over here and again we will delete this dimension and add a new one so let's take a vertical dimension and add 1 mm so we'll just uh, delete this edges over here as we know for the groove uh, no need to have that close profile so now we can directly change it so just select this and you can provide the dimensions for the constraint otherwise we will not uh, add uh, any dimension to here so let us add 45 degree on that's it and then just click exit the workbench and now use a groove option the profile is automatically selected and select the H X axis and you can see the preview just select the preview option 
so maybe we need to check this as a reverse side here make a reverse side and then click ok so maybe it is selecting the another side here so just sorry is wrongly selected here so make it a reverse and then click ok so now that uh, typical profile it gets added here so just uh, hide this so in this way you can create a helical gear in Katia V5 so just hide this axis as well maybe if you want to see the edges you can see the edges over here make this edges again off so thank you very much for watching and please like and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you